So this is a scene I have set up. It's scene one of my um, PSA that I was working on. So the guy comes in. We have the background elements. Uh, my main character that's going to be speaking in there. But I want to export these in separate layers because I want to use bring them into After Effects and use a 3D um, camera moves with this scene. So I, I, I'm going to start off on a close-up of the kids swimming. And as the guy comes in, I'm gonna, the camera's going to zoom out. So I want to create that depth with the 3D camera move. So to export these, I want to do them in different layers. First thing I would do is if I have my scene set up, and in this case I have a scene three and four in here. There's not much in here right now, but there are a scene three and scene four. And I actually want to get rid of those, and I just want to export scene one. So what I'm going to do is um, rename this flash file, this animate file, as um, scene one all elements so I'll do save as and I think I had it in here alrighty so scene one all elements FLA so it's just scene one that I'm working with so I might have all my scenes together in one file but when I'm ready to export I'll, I'll create individual files so I'm only exporting the scene that I want so if I was doing scene two the next time I'll call it scene two all elements and do it that way so I'm saving my file. Then I want to make sure I delete those other scenes. I don't need them. So scene three, of um, whether my scene editing mode, if you're not seeing that, I have mine docked here. If you're not seeing it, you would go to Window, Scene. Click on that. Shift F2 is also the quick key. So scene three, hit the trash can. Yes, I want to. Scene four, OK. So now all I have is scene one, and that's what I want to work with. I have here is a, a field guide that just shows me what my camera is going to see. So I did a screen capture from After Effects and took out the white just so, and then I brought that in. That field guide layer <clears throat> is a guide layer already, so when I export it, it doesn't show up. It's locked into place. So this is what my camera will see um, in there. You have the kid swimming and these two layers of water he's sandwiched in between one in front of him one behind him but as far as the 3d layer is concerned I'll, I'll look at that as one layer so the first thing I do okay I want to take out I want just this to come in so let me find them in here so I have my kid so I hold the option key and I have just my kid layer option or alt key when I click on the eyeball turns everything else off and then I have the wave in front of him and the wave behind him. So I just want those to export. So I'm going to go to File, Publish Settings. So if you unclick Include Hidden Layers here in the Publish Settings, say OK. So now only thing that is visible is um, the kid and the two layers I want to export together. So the first way I'll export it are as a PNG sequence. Um, so what's white here, and I'll show you when I go to export, that will be <clears throat> black, but it'll also be an alpha channel, so we'll be able to see through that. Whatever's colored in will be um, opaque, and that will be the layers that we want visible. So I'll do File, Export, and for both ways, the one we want to choose is export video. So when we choose them, we're going to choose export video. We get this dialog screen comes up. Um, render size 1280 by 720. That's my screen size, so I want that. Um, ignore stage color. Generate alpha channel. That's what I want to have checked because I don't want the white to come through. I want to ignore that. I want an alpha channel. I want that. Um, to be transparent so if it's just my character if the kid wasn't with the water but in this case I want the, these layers to have that alpha channel I'm gonna use media encoder um, it's good to get used to using that you have a little little more choices you can work with so I'm gonna choose um, media encoder um, choose where I want to save it and because I'm gonna do this as a PNG sequence I'm gonna make a folder folder 
I'll call it rip current. This comes up here, and I don't want this. And cancel this. Bad timing for that. I'm losing my final assets. Create that. I'm going to create a new folder, um, scene one. So I have scene one elements. Create that. Inside of that, I'm going to create a folder for the the kid. I should actually should I'm gonna call it scene 01 kid because the kid's gonna appear in multiple scenes so I'll make sure I label it scene one kid with water so I have that's <clears throat> what this PNG sequ sequence is going to be so I made a folder because I'm gonna have like 50 60 PNGs however long this scene is so I want to have them contained within a folder and uh, right now, my only choice is QuickTime Movie. So we'll generate a QuickTime Movie also. So in this case, scene one, and then I have to name it. I'm going to call it Kid with, and I'm going to put a hyphen in there, water. So that's the la layer for that. So I'm going to give it that name. That's what I'm exporting. And it's going to make a movie, but when it opens up Media Encoder, it will also give me a choice to make a PNG sequence. So click that. So have that alpha channel, convert to video, told it where to name it and save it. Um, stop exporting when the last frame is reached. So that's what I want. Hit export. And when I hit export, uh, my Media Encoder is open, so it should, shouldn't take too long. Uh, Media Encoder comes up. Right now, it's um, it has the name Kid with Water there. Um, I want to change this <clears throat> to a PNG sequence. So I could click here um, to PNG sequence here. But I like working in that other window. So to get to that window that we're used to seeing when we export from Premiere is to click right on the, the blue type here of the, of the format that it's listed as. And then I get this screen. So this screen we're used to seeing when we're working with uh, Premiere. So you see this is black. This black will be my alpha channel. And or my format, actually. I want to pick PNG. So it's going to do a PNG sequence with alpha match source. So that's what I want it to do. And so actually that's all I would need to do to do the PNG sequence. My frame rate's at 24 frames per second. Um, that's going to match what I've been working at. So I'll say OK here. And then to render this out, it's going to go to that folder I made. Um, I'll just hit this Start Cube button. It's the green arrow here, and that will render those PNGs out. PNG sequence with alpha is what it's, it's, it's creating. So it did that, and I'll just check what I rendered in After Effects. So I have this scene set up, and I just want to just check to see if it did bring it in as an alpha channel. I had this scene set up from a previous time, but I just double-check what I just exported by going to File, Import, Import the file. I'm just going to choose the one file. I want to find that um, where I set that. I put it in Final PSAs. Um, rip current final assets scene one elements inside kid water and if I click this first one if your options aren't showing up on the Mac I have the options on your uh, the Windows base it should show up but if it's not you might have this option I want to make sure PNG sequence is um, selected so you only have to select the first frame but you also want to make sure in this case, I do want this to come in as a PNG sequence, so I want to make sure that is checked. Um, it, it's in alphabetical order or numerical order uh, here, so I don't need to choose that. It, it should work fine with this. So I say open, 
and it brought in this movie right here, frame 00 to 129. And if I take that and lay it out over this scene, and I can see that this scene came in on an alpha channel because I'm everything that was black is transparent and I'm able to see through it. So that worked. I'm going to hit delete here and I'm going to bring in that QuickTime movie and see how that worked. See if it brought in with alpha. Import file. It did generate this movie. So if I say open here. And it did, so it did come in as alpha too. So actually you only, you could do it either way. You only have to do the one way and then you can do, when this comes up, interpret footage, hit guess. And it actually guessed it pre-multiplied matted with color. So it shows, uh, After Effects kind of thinks about which way it is. So I chose guess, hit okay. It brought in this and it brought in as, as a QuickTime movie too. <clears throat> so exporting as a QuickTime movie might be um, a better way to do it. I, I said I shied away from doing that uh, because of um, had issues in the past with QuickTime and say I just want to get these two layers of my um, lifeguard coming in. So I have these two lifeguard layers right here. So I'll select, nope, I just need these two layers visible. And because I went into file publish settings and chose unclicked include hidden layers, which is a default um, that's always been with Flash and they changed it here. So it's nice to have that option to do that. So I have that. Um, I'll export this as a, as a video and just see the difference. I want it video alpha channel. Um, okay, this time I'll, if I'm doing just a video, you could avoid the video and media encoder. We'll see how that works. So I'll just do ignore stage color, generate alpha channel, browse to where I want to save it. I'll go back up a layer and call this um, scene one. The lifeguard. Hit save here. And then just choose export. So I made a quick time movie here. And I'll import that into After Effects and see how that worked. Import the file. I'll go up a layer. This is the one I just made with just the lifeguard. Came up as, so it's showing me when you get this uh, interpret footage, um, the alpha, then you know you, you have an alpha channel, so that's good. Again, I'll choose guess, and it, as it does it, it does it as a pre-multiplied matted with color. Say okay. This is the one I just brought in. Bring him up over this. I'm not seeing anything because it comes from off screen, but there he is. So if I solo this layer, he's on the pink background, so he came in as an alpha channel. <coughs> So, um, yeah, that's, that could be the best way to do it. It's just to export video. Make sure you choose alpha channel and export it. Um, you should be good.